Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the maths behind the transformers equations for your GCSE physics. So these are the rules that I like my students to follow when answering um, maths questions. If you haven't watched any of my videos about this before, I suggest you go back and look at the videos where I explain these to you. But just really briefly, when I sit my maths questions for my students, the first mark is the formula, the second mark is for showing you're working, the third mark is for the answer, and the fourth mark is for the units. So these are the, there are two equations that you need to know. This equation here um, covers all exam boards. The potential difference in the primary coil divided by the potential difference in the secondary coil is equal to the number of turns in the primary coil divided by the number of turns in the secondary coil. The units we're going to be using today, potential difference is in volts, and number of turns is just the number of turns. This is the second equation, this is for AQA only, and the potential difference in across the primary coil um, times the current in the primary coil is equal to potential difference across the secondary coil times the current in the secondary coil. So potential difference is measured in volts and current is measured in amps. So this is our first question. Um, quite often you might get a picture to interpret in this question, but you can treat it exactly the same way. So circle all of the numbers. So that's potential difference. That's the number of turns. That's the number of turns. So we have our equation. So, uh, potential difference across the primary coil is 100. Potential difference across the secondary coil is the bit that we don't know. Number of turns in the primary coil is 450. Number of turns in the secondary coil is 200. Um, there are a couple of ways you could look at doing this. You can rearrange it first or you could do the maths first. I like to do the maths first. So, 450 divided by 200 equals 2. 2, 5. So what we have now is 100 divided by x equals 2.25. We take the x up, so 100 equals 2.25x, and then we divide it. 100 divided, let me just move this up. 100 divided by 2.25 equals 100 divided by 2.25 equals. 44 volts. So in our next question, we need to find the uh, number of turns. We have the potential difference. We have the number of turns. Our equation, Vp over Vs equals Mp over Ns. So the potential difference across the primary coil is 120, the potential difference across the secondary coil is 300, and this is equal to 97 divided by x. So I like to do my maths first, 120 divided by 300, 0.4 equals 97 divided by x. Um, we need to do a bit of rearranging now, so 0.4x equals 97 x equals 97 divided by 0.4 plug that into our calculator 97 divided by 0.4 equals 242.5 turns so in our next question we need to find the potential difference going into the um, transformer, so this is the potential difference in the secondary. These are our turns. So again, we have VP over VS equals NP over NS. Um, the potential difference in the primary coil is what we're trying to find, divided by the potential difference in the secondary coil. Um, number of turns in the primary coil is 40, number of turns in the secondary coil equals 20. So 40 divided by 20 equals 2. Um, we just need to do a tiny bit of rearranging here. x 
equals 15 times 2, so x equals 30 volts. So here, instead of it being pictorial, it's in words. So we circle all of our numbers. So transform has 10 volts across the primary coil. So that is going to be VP, 5 volts across the secondary coil, that is VS. And if the primary coil has 20 turns, so that is NP. So we have VP divided by VS equals NP divided by NS, which gives us 10 divided by 5 equals 20 divided by something. So we have 2 equals 20 divided by x, tiny bit ranging, 2x equals 20, x equals 20 divided by 2, x equals 10 coils, 10 turns, sorry. So here again it's a wordy one, so let's circle all these numbers. Secondary coil has 60 turns, so that makes that an s. A step down transformer, a potential difference of 230 to 10. So 230 is VP and 10 is VS. Our equation is VP divided by VS equals NP over NS. It may seem really tedious working this equation out over and over again, but if you get used to working it out over and over again, and um, when you're doing the practice questions, it will come naturally to you in the exam, and it is one of the things that the examiners like to see. So your VP is 230, VS is 10. We're trying to find NP, but we know NS is 60. So 230 divided by 10 equals X divided by 60. Rearranging here, 23 times 60 equals X. So it's 1,380 turns. So now that we've seen a few examples together, what I'd like you to do is to pause and have a go at trying doing a few of these yourself. So we have 50, 500 and 120. A transformer has 50 turns in the secondary coil, so that makes that NS, and 500 in the primary coil, making that NP. If the potential difference in the secondary coil, which makes that the S, um, find the potential difference across the primary coil. So we have VP divided by VS equals NP divided by NS. So VP we don't know. VS is 120. Um, NP is 500. NS is 50. So we have X divided by 120 equals 10, x equals 10, times 120, so x equals 1200 volts. So this is the second equation we're looking at in this video, this is for AQA students only. So potential difference is measured in volts, current in amps, current in amps, and potential difference in volts. So this is the pictorial question, we have this is going to be IP, it's the current in the primary coil. This is going to be VP, it's the voltage in the potential difference across the um, primary coil. This is VS and we need to find IS. So VP times IP equals VS times IS. Um, VP is 230 times 7 equals 10 times IS. So put that into our calculator, 230 times 7 equals 1610 equals 10 times IS. So we need to move the 10 over, we'll divide it by 10. So divide that by 10 and we get 100 and, oh, 161 amps. So another pictorial one here for us to interpret. We have the current in the uh, primary coil, so this is I 
at OP, sorry. We have the current in the second curl, so that is IS. We have the potential difference across the second curl, so that is VS. And we need to find VP. So VP times IP equals VS times IS. Uh, VP we don't know. Um, current in the primary is 22. Voltage in the secondary is 20 times 17 amps. So 20, oops, 20 times 17 equals 340. So VP times 22 equals 340. We need to do a bit of rearranging. Divide that by 22 and we get 15.5. Okay, so now a word one for us to interpret. Circle all of our numbers and then we can work out what I mean. A transformer changes 230 volts to 12 volts. So that means it starts off with 230 volts, so that's V or VP, sorry, into 12 volts, so that is VS. Um, in a lamp where the current is 4 amps, find the current in the transformer from the mains. So this is IS and we need to find to find um, IP. So VP times IP equals VS times IS. Uh, VP is, we don't know, IP, no that's not right, we do know VP, uh, so <coughs> sorry, VP is 230, times IP, which is the bit we don't know. Uh, 12 is the voltage in the secondary, and the current is 4. So, first of all, do 12 times 4 equals 48. And then we need to do a bit of arranging. 48 divided by 230, which means IP equals... 0.2 amps. So this is um, a tricky one to end with. We need to calculate two things. We need to calculate the potential difference in the second coil and the current in the primary coil. So we need to use both equations and our answer for the first part will form part of our second part. So we just treat it exactly the same. We have 230 which is the uh, potential difference in the primary coil. Uh, 575, which is the number of turns in the primary coil, 50 turns in the secondary coil, and the current in the secondary coil is uh, 3.45 secondary. So, uh, VP over VS equals MP over NS. Uh, so, we have 230 divided by X equals 575 divided by 50. So 575 divided by 50 equals 115. 230, need to be rearranging, 230.15 x. So x equals 230 divided by 115, which equals 2 volts. So now we have um, our answer here, which is the potential difference in the second column, making that the S. Let's just move all of that up here because we now need to move on to our second equation. So V, oops, VP times IP equals VS times IS. So VP, we know from the question, is 230. Um, IP is what we're trying to find out. VS, we've just worked out, that's 2. And from the question, uh, we know that the current is 3.45. So 3.45 times 2 equals 6.9. 230 times IP. And IP 
equals 6.9 divided by 230, which equals 0 0.03 amps.